before we get started, if you want some really dope swag, head on over to 12bagger.com and hit the new release section. Scroll down, you'll find four brand new jerseys from Bowler's Rant. This is a really dope design. All profits from this jersey will be donated to the local Humane Society. Link is in the video description below. What's going on, bowlers? Chris Beans here with Bowler's Rant, bringing you one new update from Storm Bowling. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and turn on those notifications. All right, we are on the road to Bowl Expo. Storm has just announced a blockbuster. Let's take a look at it. Enter the Storm Summit. Ooh, we have got all kinds of exciting things to talk about with this one because there's a bunch of new tech. And honestly, a little bit of old tech. It's a little bit of old and new, but we're gonna get right into it over to the interwebs as usual. What are we talking about, Beans? Well, I'm gonna tell you that's why you're watching the channel. I'm talking about the summit, all right? So right off the bat, this first sentence is no effing joke. Officially, this is Storm's strongest symmetrical ball to date. Say that five times fast. All right, so they're saying basically centripetal HD weight block. Wait a minute. We've seen that before. And then there's this new, all new AI outer core. Now with all the talk about AI right now, I guarantee you Storm is definitely doing some wordplay here for marketing purposes because that's what you got to do to capitalize. And so they're saying this new outer core drives the RG down and the differential up. Okay. And makes sure and says ensuring this ball spins up fast and a lot. Looks like we've got another cover, et cetera, et cetera, for oil absorption to get through slick conditions. So let's take a test drive here. Interesting pour. Not what I first expected when I look at it from this angle, because then when you get over here, you got all this hot lava going on here, right? Um, and the fragrance, Snickerdoodle. I mean, this is like, you know, sn yeah, Snickers? Like, I feel like this could smell really, really good. So let's get on down here. And what we want to do Here's this outer core we're talking about, right? So this is really interesting. New outer core, this AI amplified inertia outer core. But we what we really want to do is we want to get to the tech sheet. All right, this ball contains the TX23 hybrid reactive cover stocks and tripled HD AI core. Comes at a factory finish of 3000 grit Avalon. The color, blue, gold, and silver. All right, gold, got it. Um, Snickerdoodle fragrance and the numbers at 15 pounds, 2.46 RG with an 056 differential. Man, that's a lot of differential. So translation, this is going to be your strong symmetrical like reaction. And I'm, and this is, we're, we're going past phase two territory here. So, you know, there are a couple things here. Um, this logo, I feel like is moving. I feel like this is expanding upon maybe the concept of the axiom, right? Who is messaging me right now? All right. Um, actually, somebody's messaging me about this actual ball. So you got this axiom here, and this was um, a solid, right? But see how this, you have this kind of mountain looking background? Well, we're now going beyond that here, right? So almost feels like it's going to the next level. Now, regarding the core, we've seen centripetal cores before. You've seen them in the Marvel Pearl, right? And with this one, this was an 050 differential, right? 248RG. And you've also seen it in the Sonic and the Supersonic, right? Which was 247 and 047 differential. Now, to give you some, you know, context, the phase two right now, if you look at that, this is a 248 and 051. So the summit, I mean, 246 and 056, this thing is starting up super early. I mean, you're basically kind of in Brunswick territory because Brunswick's kind of like the king of low RG. Like they have been doing low RG for since the dawn of time. But with an 056 differential, you're getting a lot of reaction here. So I feel like this is going to be, if I'm reading this correctly, a tale of two balls. Um, now let's pop over to the design intent. And I'm going to come back to my statement in just a minute. Uh, this TX23, by the way, if you remember from the phase two, the phase two had TX. Um, I don't even remember what TX stands for. Maybe somebody could fact check me and put that in the comics. But I believe this was related to the year 16. So now we got TX23, right? And so we're talking about this TX23 is modernized version of the beloved TX16. Uh, I thought so. Um, 
And basically, this is a mid lane monster, right? So they want you to start up early. Basically, this is going to be a lot of footprint in the lane. Um, and basically, something about the outer core being, you know, driving the RG down the differential up. So that's interesting. You know, D Brunswick has dynamic core, and their out of core is basically good for coefficient of restitution for increasing pin carry. Well, now Storm's taking it to this level where it's saying, you know what, we're focusing on getting things spun up faster. So it's really interesting when you talk about design intent when you talk about ball technology so what does all that word salad mean to the average bowler basically this is going to be your strong benchmark uh ball right you could start with this to tell you if you need to ball up or ball down if you like to keep things simple um i think in most cases you'd probably start with like a phase two um and then figure if you want to go up from there because this is going to be a stronger ball than phase two now that said this is a hybrid right so I don't know how many parts Pearl, how many parts Solid. I'm sure the great Luke Rostal will be able to tell everybody all about that because he seems to know everything about all the tech. If you guys aren't watching him, please go do yourself a favor. Go watch him. He's got some amazing tech breakdown when it comes to the SPI core products. I feel like back to my statement about this being you know something that you can ball, that's going to be a tail of two balls. I feel like this is going to be something that if you keep in the oil, it's going to be relatively smooth. You're going to see a mid lane roll and it's going to just belt up right back to the pocket but there's a big but here. I also feel like because we've seen this kind of core reaction on the Marvel Pearl, on the Supersonic, when you have a lot of differential with a centripetal core, you tend to see some motion off the back. And because there's Pearl in the cover stock, what I expect to have happen is if this thing sees the friction, it may take a very sharp turn left. So I feel like you're going to get one of two reactions. Uh, it would not surprise me if this ball kind of felt close to a supersonic and maybe with just a little bit more back end but time is going to tell wow and it looks like the URD on this is June 23rd 2023 man that is a lot of good information of course as usual if you want to learn more about this ball where you can pick it up I've got a link in the description where you can grab this on bullismart.com I am curious what everybody thinks about this ball what do you think about the summit do you like the colors do you like the logo do you think this ball is going to be what you need you know for you know tournaments and for sports shot or even the house shot and if you were to get one what layout would you go off drop me a comment let me know let's continue the conversation more updates are coming and until then bow well <laughs>